Traditionally, we treat used Japanese cars with respect. Many are even sure that the older the Japanese, the more reliable. The second generation Outlander, proudly wearing the XL prefix, was a real bestseller in its time. It is not surprising that this machine remains liquid for a long time in the secondary market. Because of this, perhaps, there are not many offers for the sale of the Outlander XL. Moreover, along with the Outlander XL, its French clones, the Citroën C-Crosser and Peugeot 4007, also rolled off the assembly line. Born in 2006, he received the XL prefix not quite justifiably, the seven-seater versions were not officially supplied to us. In 2011, the Outlander underwent restyling. The crossover acquired a ferocious muzzle, a la the so platform, tent, Lancer, which made it look more impressive. The car was offered with three petrol engines and three gearboxes to choose from with front or all-wheel drive. It has a spacious, easily transformable interior, a roomy trunk, an acceptable quality of finishing materials and a suspension successfully adapted to our roads. Of the complaints about new cars, only complaints about noise insulation and rather high fuel consumption are remembered. One of three naturally aspirated petrol engines could be chosen. At first it was a 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder engine with 170 horsepower, and a 3.0-liter 223 horsepower B6. The 2-liter 147 horsepower engine joined them after restyling, as they say, already at the request of the workers. Rumor has it that occasionally there are also exotic diesel modifications from the European market with a 140 horsepower turbo diesel, but this is already a rarity. In general, the whole trinity of power units can be called trouble-free. Of course, their health depends on the quality of the fuel, so no one will be surprised by the possible replacement of the catalyst after the first 80,000 kilometers of run. It happens that the crankshaft seals are leaking. The first V6S until mid-2008 had engine management firmware failures. It was manifested by sharp jerks when pressing the gas pedal. But then the problem was fixed. The clutch, about UAH 5000, runs up to 150,000 kilometers, on versions with a manual gearbox, and even more. There are no special complaints about the 5-speed mechanics and the torque converter automatic, the latter were equipped with versions with V6. The main thing is not to forget to follow the timely, once every 90,000 and 120,000 kilometers, respectively, oil renewal. However, with the CVT, which was installed on 2.0 and 2.4 liter cars, everything is no longer so simple. Its resource is about 150,000 kilometers, and the replacement will result in a very unpleasant amount, about 70,000 UAH. However, we must give him his due, the variator works honestly for its entire period without attracting much attention of mechanics, provided that the driver did not allow it to overheat. The need to stop and rest will be signaled by a light on the instrument panel. The body and paintwork of the disease are mostly bypassed. Complaints about the fragile windshield, which can crack even from the temperature difference in winter, are fair. Sometimes the help of specialists is required by sweating rear lights. Mechanics showed rare unanimity, naming stabilizer bushings as another weak point of this car. They have to take a hit and usually need to be replaced every 45,000 kilometers, both front and back. Other suspension parts are more resistant. For example, shock absorbers are rendered only to 150,000 kilometers. But neither the steering rack, nor the brakes, nor the all-wheel drive system usually cause any trouble. For example, the front brake discs easily survive two or more generations of pads and all kinds of rubber bands in the suspension do not lose their properties up to 200,000 kilometers. We didn't say a word about the Salon. Well, he does not shine with chic. The emphasis here is on functionality. The Salon can upset the creaks of the front panel. In the area of backslash U200B backslash U200B racks, the whistling heater motor may require lubrication. But in general, this will not spoil the reputation of a reliable car. Our choice is a 3.0-liter machine with an automatic. Fuel consumption will not seem low in the case of a 2.4-liter engine, but the V6 dynamics are worthy of this reliable car. The CVT for a used Outlander XL is not the best asset, but otherwise you can safely take the all-wheel drive version without fear of losing money. This crossover loses no more than 8-10% to in price per year. Don't guess. Body. Experts reassure that even the tinkling stabilizer struts move away without damage to the car up to 20,000 kilometers. But the rear stabilizer bar usually sticks to the car over the course of a career. Therefore, 
In order to change the silent block on it, as a rule, you have to cut the transverse lever. Transmission. Abuse of heavy off-road conditions can lead to malfunctions of the rear axle gearbox. A small backlash appears in it, eventually leading to failure of the center clutch. It is almost impossible to repair this unit, and replacement can entail serious costs, up to 35,000 UAH. However, you should not be especially afraid, it happens rarely. Engine. The sin of the power system is an expensive fine fuel filter. It will have to be replaced at every fourth MOT. In other words, every 60,000 kilometers. Along with it, as a rule, the oxygen sensor is also changed. This information, alas, is relevant for all three motors. Body. Although the paintwork, like many Japanese, is rather weak, the metal is resistant to corrosion. A common problem is that the windows of the rear doors warp over time. The culprit is a U-shaped sealing gum. It has to be changed by sawing the fasteners of one of the guides, 